The fact that you have a dream doesn't mean you have the word of the Lord. Yes. That's because dreams are dark speeches. And I've thought about the seals of the immortals. There are seven seals. And if the divine don't want you to have a thing, they can give it to you, but you will not have it. Now, how they achieve this is by sealing what has been given to you. And there are four seals they put on things, either of these four seals. The seal of truth. You will have a thing, but you will not know the truth about it. Number two, the seal of understanding. You will have a thing, but you will not be able to understand what you have. Number three, the seal of power. You will have a thing, but you will not be able to tap into the power that that thing possesses. You go and find the fourth one by yourself. So the seal of truth. For some people, the Bible is sealed away from them. They hear the words of Christ, but it has not been given unto them to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. So it is sealed away from them. Then the seal of understanding. They have it, but they don't understand what they're looking at. So you can have a dream, but that doesn't mean you yet have the word of the Lord. However, the word of the Lord is in the dream that you have. Now, Mo, uh, Joseph was not a dreamer. I don't know why we call him a dreamer. Yes, he dreamt only when he was young, but he was not a dreamer. He didn't go about dreaming. No. Joseph had a blessing that he had received from his Abrahamic father, the blessing of Abraham that was upon him. And the manifestation of that blessing was that he had insight to the word of the Lord in dreams. He was able to interpret dreams. He was not going about dreaming. He had received a spirit, the spirit of the Lord, from the covenant his fathers had with God that enabled him to be able to have insight into dream, the interpretation of dreams. So Joseph was an interpreter. He had insight to dreams. So when other people dreamt, he was able to pull the word of God out of their dream. You understand what I mean? He was able to pull the word of God. Now, this is what separates one who dreams from one who has the word of the Lord. Now, if you're able to pull the word of the Lord out of a dream, that dream can now be put side by side with prophecy. So if Joseph was to interpret your dream, he can give you a prophecy from your dream. And it will come to pass just as he has said. Because he had the ability to understand the word of the Lord that was hidden in dreams. Proverbs chapter 1. He said to understand the sayings of the, 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 the wisdom of the wise and their dark sayings. You have the ability to understand. So dreams are parables from the immortals. And when you have a dream, you don't run to Google. The Bible already teaches us that understanding belongs to God. So when you have a dream, you go and begin to pray about it. A lot of people run to Google. A lot of people won't go online. I was rebuking them yesterday while I was online. I said, listen, you don't go online posting your dreams, looking for, for interpretation everywhere. What foolishness is that? Your sacred dreams, how would you be putting it online everywhere? If you see this, what does it mean? It means you don't even know what you're doing. When Peter had a dream, he didn't understand. He meditated on it because a lot of times the understanding of a dream would come when you're already in the motion of the manifestation of the dream. He's in the motion. It was when he went to Colinus' house. He said, wait, could this whole operation be what God was trying to show me? using that dream. So dreams are parables. The difference between an average Joe that dreams and one who has the spirit of God, the spirit of excellent understanding, the spirit of light, the spirit of wisdom. The difference between them and you is that when you dream, you have grace to be able to pull the word of God out of dreams. For them, they rely on several mental things to try to decode the dreams and then they deceive themselves all together so now the prophets have been given grace to receive the visions of god via dreams and to have its interpretation however moses for moses god broke that protocol god spoke to moses plainly 
There was no hiding the word of the Lord for, for Moses. It was as plain as day. That was how God spoke to Moses. What you call dream is not a lesser form of vision. Dream and vision is still vision. But a dream is the vision of the Lord when your eyes are closed. When your eyes are closed because of sleep. A vision, an open vision, is the vision of the Lord when your eyes are open. Now let me describe to you how it feels to have an open vision. That dream you're having is the visions of the Lord coming to you when your head is on the bed. But when you have an open vision, you enter into the dream state while least your eyes are open. That's what it means to have an open vision. You see how you see yourself flying in a dream. Now imagine all those things happening to you while you are still awake. That's what it means to have a vision. So if you have open visions, you are the one, if you are a person God speaks to through open visions, then you are a man who sees the visions of God with his eyes open. A man who enters into the state of dream and see the visions of God while his, his eyes are open. May God, may God move us into dimensions. Just imagine that dimension. You are able to tap into the dream world. What you call the dream world. Now listen. When you dream, you must look for the word of the Lord. Like I told you. Not every dream is the word of the Lord. So when the fire comes, you check. Is the word of the Lord in the fire? When the earthquake comes, you check. Is the word of the Lord in the earthquake? For you who is a prophet, by the grace of God given to you, you are moved straight into this realm. Move straight into this realm. Where God introduces himself to you in a vision. The dream state comes to you while least you are awake. And they say, this guy, they dream me. No, he's seen a vision. He's interacting with a realm the rest of the people cannot see. He said, and I will speak to him in a dream. When he goes to bed, he enters into the vision of the Lord by the spirit of the Lord that's within him. Ah, ah, by the spirit of the Lord. This is your own Holy Ghost. I show you only ever. <laughs> we need to check that Holy Ghost. By the what? By the spirit of the Lord. The mind is taken into the visions of God. And everything you are seeing there is the word of the Lord. The mind has been brought into the realm called the realm of the word of the Lord. May you enter into the valleys of vision. Amen. The moment you are taken up by the word of the Lord, you are already in the word of the Lord. So the Bible said the prophet spoke to his friend in the word of the Lord. Those statements come in are no longer English. Every sound that has been uttered is now in the word of the Lord. So he's speaking English but in the word of the Lord. That is no longer your language. That has become a power code. It's now a weapon. If you look at what is happening in the spirit, it's now sword coming out because now he's speaking in the word of the Lord. He says, Satan, go in English. Nothing happens. Then he enters into the word of the Lord and says, Satan, a butter. That's all. Even if he speaks grammar, it broken as long as in the word. Satan, come, they go. Sword comes out. Satan, I draw you through the redemic system and the crucibles of the immortals <laughs> nothing will happen sir you will go home and they will say who you they speak english for <laughs> but satan in jesus name we play come out and you think he's an uneducated man speaking Yet, as he's saying that thing, a dimension is coming out of his mouth. Through the, to the word of the Lord. Now, only very few prophets are privileged to walk with God in this dimension. Only very few. Men and women who enter into the dream state 
with their eyes open. Who sees the visions of God with their eyes closed and their eyes open? They enter into the dream state. So if you've ever wondered what it feels like to see an open vision, it's simple. Just imagine yourself dreaming while at least you are, your eyes are open. Every experience you are seeing there, that's how a vision is. Hello, thank you for watching the video and I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it was also not really useful. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked, please do that. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get more videos. God bless you.